Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I forgot the name for a second. I'm Sirius JG. We are about to wrap up the Magnet Central quest. At least I think we are. Um, because we've delivered all the letters. And we can now get Magnet Central operational again. It will be fully operational. Can I help you, Koopa? The most important thing in life, vanity and super slick. So... We can continue to read all this mail uh, forever. I tried to figure out what Ar Artemisia was doing, but I didn't understand how he felt. Sure. But anyway, there's a specific person in Alexandria that we can talk to to get the super slick. There's no particular reason that you would know that this is the person to have it. But it's Ruby, our old friend and member of our gang, I think. Well, for my eye, how do I know? How do you know I use this here super slick in me air? You want to try some? How come you be an idiot? You want to be beautiful like me? You're pulling me leg, aren't you? Now, well, I'll get me folks to send some more. You can have this one. Seed super slick. You ain't got to give it to some girl as a gift, are you? I do declare <laughs> that law is too big for his riches. What in tarnation are we supposed to do? That's right, like, I, I think I did initially give her, like, cockney voice, and then it became apparent that she's supposed to be a southern belle. That or she's acting all the time, so she's doing accents. It's fucking super slick. I haven't received any mail, Koopo. Well, wait a second, I've got the super slick, so what the fuck am I supposed to do with it? You're, like, Magnet Central guy. Figure it out. All right, hold on. How am I supposed to know what to do now that I've got the super slick? Final part of the quest is to deliver the item to Magnet Central. None of the Moogles state directly where it is, but they say it is very far away and that you probably need a chocobo. Specifically, you need at least a mountain chocobo to access Magnet Central. Ah. Uh. located on the talon-shaped island north of the outer continent. If you don't have the ocean ability, you'll need to navigate to the shallows to a beach of the southern coast of the island, or you'll need a, you'll need a dead pepper on the crack and here, like, how the fuck are you supposed to, to, to know that it's there? This is part of what makes this game, uh, game wacky. Talon-shaped island north of Outer Continent. Alright, well, I think I need to get onto the world map before I can even... Because I... There's the Lost Continent and then the Outer Continent, and I don't remember which one's which. So, unless I actually look it up... This fact is not giving me a picture. Not to be too big of a whiner, but, like... Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this game that rely like there's a lot of little side content that's all interconnected. Like you can't do talon shaped. Oh, this is probably it. You know what? That's a big old landmass that the uh, fairly big landmass, I should say, that the the game never gave you a reason to go there. But we do need a chocobo to get there because it's uh, a thing we're going to have to dig up with a dead pepper. Another thing that you you only get access to dead peppers by advancing the story a certain amount. Or the uh, chocobo side quest stuff a certain amount. There you are. Launch, launch, launch chocobo. So again, like, without a fact, I, yeah, yeah, I'm not finding any of this shit. You can spend so much time searching around for shit in this game and not finding it. Oh, this is, this is wrong anyway. So 
So it looks to me like we could have found this place without, um... We probably could have found this place without, um... Having the super slick. Crack crumbled and opened up a hole. Boom, boom, ba -doo, ba -doo, we opened a hole. Magnet Central. It's Margaret Griffin. He's a talk show host. I don't know what Merv Griffin actually talked like. The grown-up Moogles don't know what to do because the equipment is broken. My name is Mog Greg. This is Magnet Central. I wonder if Magnet will go out of business, Koopo. I mean, is it making money now? I wonder if Magnet will ever be the same. We only had that item. Hey, you brought some super slick. Will you give it to me? <laughs> Why? Sniff, sniff. Hey, you brought some super slick. Will you give it to me? Thanks. With this oil, I thee wed. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, ba. Thanks. I'll give you this in return. Received protect ring. I was happy because my coat became so soft, but I took everyone's fun away. I'm sorry. Oh, he used the super slick they had for the machinery on his own coat. So the protect ring is kind of a crappy prize uh, at this point. Because uh, you can get it through the hot... You can get it as a prize through hot, Chocobo Hot and Cold, which you have to do a fuck ton of to get a Chocobo that can, like climb a mountain and get this anyway. So now we got six fucking protect rings. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Everything is okay now. Magnet Central can resume operation again. Thanks for delivering 26 letters. And I can't even get to this guy. Oh, you're here now. Hey, starting up again. Okay, good. I'm glad, I'm glad you said that. My name is Magnet Greg. Grown-ups are busy with work. Koopo. Oh, there you go. That was the Magnet Central quest. Aren't you glad we did that? Well... While we're up here, let's, uh... Let's use this Moogle to fly, or this, uh, Chocobo to fly. Because I, I swear, like, there's a location, like, between a bunch of There's a forest between a bunch of mountains on the starting continent that I was like, Oh, that's got to be something. Nah, it's nothing. going on here. I'm trying to find uh, my day in Saria. There's Fossil Rue. Ether Tree? Oh, never mind. This was the way to my day in Saria. Well, I don't have auto travel uh, with the Chocobo. So I, I guess I was heading for my day in Saria and then Sort of lost the thread. Oh, that's right. This weird looking thing is actually the town, isn't it? Thank you for rescuing Magda Central Koopo. Oh, wait, who am I kidding? I'm not going to mention that. None of us are going to ever mention this again. All right. So, there is some kind of special side quest to be done here that's just like story, content, and background. 
There is a whole, like, society of summoners that uh, Dagger was stolen away from as a child, and... Welcome. So... You never know if you need golems flutes for something, but... I kind of doubt it, but... Because we got, like, infinite money, I've been... And I've done, done the money trick even after the point where I felt like we had infinite money, but... Some of this is just to make sure we've got all that we could possibly need hanging around for, a uh, Synthesis. Alright, you can visit the Eidolon Wall in Medane Sorry for some extra backstory. You will receive no items. First put Dagger in your party and head to the fishing area in Medane Sorry for a minor scene. Alright. Well, there was some major story stuff going on here before. How's Ico Koopo? We had an earthquake, but tell her we're okay. Wow, okay, it's weird that we don't have, like, probably we want to come back here with Ico in the party. Ico, bro, you gotta want it. Feels so good to rest, or whatever. I kind of just glanced at that and quickly tried to read it without really reading it. So we have Dagger in the party, but not Ico. I wonder if you're supposed to have Ico in the party. The old records are fading because of the mist, Koopo. Maybe it's because of the seawater. Koopo. The fishing has been horrible since the mist appeared. Um, maybe we already saw this scene. Looks like there's a climbing sequence to do here. We repeated our mistake the mistake of our ancestors made five hundred years ago. We attempt we have failed an attempt to summon at the foot of the Ifa tree. The area surrounded by the tree was unaffected, but we sealed the area as they would have done five hundred years ago. When the arrogant one summoned a power that could not be controlled, holy judgment was passed. The jewel of this village must serve as a reminder of the day we had to leave our country. Oh, interesting. I'm not sure what the fishing area was. Then, with neither Dagger nor Amrant in the party, talk to an old friend at the fishing spot twice. Oh, fuck, I do need to get my airship because that's what's letting us switch parties. Alright. Warp speed chocobos. I guess just to isolate... Oh, no, we can't have Amaranth in the party either. So just to isolate, we won't put Ico in either. We'll just do... Nobody who would seem to be relevant at all to Madan Sari in the party.
Like, is this... I guess this is the fishing spot. We keep seeing... This is the kitchen. Alright, so we keep... She keeps jumping away when we approach. What are you doing here? I tried getting back to Miss Continent, but Fossil Roo was blocked, and the Alexandrian fleet was destroyed before my eyes. I became so weak after wandering around for days, then the Moogles here rescued me. That's when I realized I've been so selfish all my life. It's so wonderful living with Moogles. I haven't thought about money once since I've been here. Just super slick. I'm glad I lost our last fight. Yeah, there's never really going to be any other outcome. You know, I saw some words that might mean something in the small room over there. I wonder what she's talking about. Words that might mean something. Then go into the room near her and look for an action icon. Yeah, that's what I figured we were trying to do, but... I thought that was the Moogle. There's something carved on it. Time moves forward once. Time moves backward once. Nine is the last number. It is also the first. Movement of time. Let's talk about clock. Forwards clockwise. Backwards counterclockwise. Fascinating, Captain. Yeah, so, like, if both Amaranth and Dagger prevent this dialogue, you would need to know that and have neither of them in your party to talk to her. There's a lot of stuff in this game that you would not catch. Um... Next, go to the Eidolon Wall from the entrance. Make a full circle clockwise around the Eidolon Wall until you hear a ding sound. Then go the other way to hear a ding. Keep repeating this alternating directions. On the ninth ding, your HP and MP will be restored. All status sounds will be removed. You did everything correctly. Now examine every painting... Doesn't matter which order, then examine the first painting. Wow, this sounds boring and pointless, but I'm trying to showcase all the side content, so I don't think this will do this would have done anything before I found that, so. It says here, alright. Make a full circle clockwise. All right, then go the other way. So that was two. Kind of lost track of the dings, but... HP and MP restored, status effects removed, okay? Now examine every painting, doesn't matter in which order, then examine the last... The Ifrit painting, you also receive an achievement. Fear not the power of summon magic, but the ones who use it. Greed and instability endlessly repeat old mistakes. Will omniscience set us free? Listen to where the fault lines collide. Listen to the planet's heartbeat. Breathe slowly and calm your mind. Let the memories return to you. Memories shape time. Time overlaps. The overlap becomes our memory. Memories reconstruct time. Or constrict construct time. History repeats itself. We must use, stand in its flow and understand the world, such as the goal of our tribe. The Legend of Eidolons. We discovered Eidolons by researching legends documented from around the world. The Thunder God Ramu is one of these legends. Some theorize that the Eidolons were created from the legends and not the other way around. 
The first I don't want to discover is Shiva. Shiva took the form of a young girl when she was first discovered. She now appears as a grown woman. Idolans adopt their forms to the time and culture in which they appear. Shiva illustrates this theory. In certain areas, Shiva is depicted as a snow fairy. This cannot be verified, since the only written document that remains is in the Summoner Village. People associate Shiva with the snow fairy. Why she changed his form remains a mystery. Ah, uh, the arrogant one. We've seen that before. We repeated the mistakes our ancestors made 500 years ago. We failed an attempt at summons. Okay. Aiko, my lovely child. Until you turn 16 and have your own idol on to your... And have your own idol on to your control, stay in this village. Then build strong friendships with others. I wish for your happiness from far away. Aiko, you are a treasure born to a dying village. We are dying, and there's little we can do for you. We shall return to the stars with one wish in mind. If legends are not born of idolons and idolons but born out of legends, leave, let us leave this place with one wish. If we can give birth to a legend, it shall create an Eidolon that is friend and protector of humans. Gamera. This information is yet to be confirmed, but there was an eyewitness account of a previously undiscovered Eidolon. It was witnessed in Esto Gaza. If there's an Eidolon that can exist outside of our legends, our theory would no longer hold true. But maybe there are other tribes that have legends of their own. This is where the fall lines collide. Shiva. I'm trying to make sure we get all of them because uh, I survived the storm. I wonder if you two are okay. I see the two of you smile every time I close my eyes. I imagine I see you when I open my eyes. I have a mortal wound. I won't be able to wait for you very long. I regret being so unemotional for all these years. I'm writing down everything here in the hopes you'll read it someday. To my dearest wife, Jane, although we fought many times, and I may not have shown much of my affection enough, I love you very much. To my beloved daughter, Sarah, my life changed when you... Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Oh, is this dagger's true name? My life changed when you were born. You made me happy. These are the things I want you to know. I think that's it. No items, just a bit of backstory. I think we've discovered that uh, Iko's, sorry, that uh, Garnet slash Dagger's true name was Sarah. To the extent that her true name is one that she didn't have for very much of her life, but like, so I don't know what you want to call her true name, but I think we've, we've now basically confirmed that um, her parents, her biological parents, named her Sarah. That's not Sether, that's, uh, what is that? Uh, Heather? Melissa? I don't remember the name of that song. The one that goes... It's a state. It's just a song that's named after some chick. So, might as well see if there's any reaction for having those characters just covered up the sky. It makes me feel sad, Kupro. Any of the characters who are actually involved here. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, having them actually be here doesn't do anything. We just get a little bit of extra backstory. Um, I don't know if you're getting frustrated or not, folks. This has been a pretty chill, uh, take your time kind of let's play. And that's been my style on all of my let's plays of these long games. So if you're not used to that by now, then you haven't been paying attention. But I think we're really close to running out of stuff for me to do that isn't uh, pursuing the end game. That being said, the, there is a there is another side quest uh, 
that is kind of joined up to the end game where you can get dialogue with uh i've never done this one but i'm kind of looking forward to it honestly um we've got oh this is not where i meant to come to Trying to find it here. Magnet Central Narrow Brothers Quest. It runs parallel to the final dungeon, but the very first event is right now before even going there. Uh, I want to make sure I don't miss the Master Synthesis, uh, although I think I have to advance the story first. So I'm actually... All right, I'm looking at... I'm actually on the fact that we've been using uh, throughout this thing, which was by uh, Bover underscore 87. Magnet Central Quest can be finished. Uh, Stalazio, Treno Weapon Shop Monster, Ribbon at the Treno Auction House, Card Stadium, if you feel like doing that, which we're not going to do. And there's nothing, it's just that there's new players. Uh, new monsters, or rather monsters from previous years you can no longer access. Uh, The, the the we've already been to Vile Island and seen Yans and know that they are tougher than most of the bosses. Uh, if you get a group of three, it's like the toughest fight in the game. Uh, various shops have new inventories. The Chocograph. There's Chocobo Paradise. Like at this point, we could like I've done my my grinding. Like we it, we could at any time try to fight uh, Ozma. Magical Fingertip Quest, Narrow Brothers Quest, which I'm going to look up. Um, I didn't sorry, wall. Yeah. So, uh, we've actually done all of the stuff that's listed here is, hey, here's a bunch of shit that you can do now that it's, uh, disc four. Uh. On the screen in Memoria. Well, Memoria is a, uh. main quest place. All right, Nero Brothers. So next time we're going to do, we're going to start the Nero Brothers side quest. So it's just a bunch of checkpoints where you do dialogue. Uh, when you complete it, you get a protect ring. So it's not particularly useful. It's just a thing that's going to give us a little bit of uh, little bits of more dialogue. Uh, and uh, we will go initiate it next time. Uh, although I think we are going to have some main story. Like we can we can do it before we even get started on uh, Discord story content. And then I think we'll have some Discord story content before we can really do anything else with it. So see you then.